Rick and Lara, and this is our dog Roger, and we live aboard the Mighty Mai Tai. In July of 2018, we set sail from Milwaukee with a plan to explore the world by water. So jump in and join us by hitting subscribe. Today, we talk about quarantine shopping in St. Martin. So we are getting ready to go to the grocery store. So we just figured um, we would show you kind of the things that we get ready and um, how it is provisioning on a boat during coronavirus. We've got our reusable bags ready, including a cold bag and our cart because we have a long walk in the sun ahead of us. We are bringing our trash because we only go to shore every week or so. Some bleach with the rag ready so we can wipe everything down when we get back to the boat. Our shopping list, our masks, which are newly repaired. We'll see if that holds. Disposable gloves. The most important item to bring is our travel pass. So this is a document that you can print off the internet. It is required in all of the French islands during COVID lockdown if you want to go out on the street. You have to check a box correlating to your reason for being out. So in our case, we're going to make essential purchases, but you can also check that you're walking your dog or going to assist another person in need. Then you sign, date, and timestamp it. Theoretically, you're only supposed to be out for two hours at a time, so I'll fill that in when we're leaving. And it looks like Rick is getting the dinghy all pumped up and ready to go. It's about a five minute dinghy ride to get to shore from where we're anchored on the French side of the lagoon. The island of St. Martin is half French and half Dutch. Before COVID, we were able to travel freely anywhere on the island, but the state of emergency has closed the border. So now we can only get essential supplies from the French side. Our first stop was at Island Waterworld to get rid of our trash. As you can see, this side of the lagoon still has many half-sunken boats from when Hurricane Irma hit in 2017. But businesses are doing what they can to rebuild, including Island Waterworld, which is a marine supply store. On the French side, it's luckily still considered an essential service for the boating community and allowed to remain open as long as everyone keeps their distance. After getting rid of our trash, we continued on, leaving our dinghy in front of our favorite bakery called Serafina's. Luckily, they've been able to remain open for limited takeout, so of course we'll be getting a fresh baguette on our way back out. This square is lined with delicious French restaurants, which opened after the hurricane. But you can't eat there now, not with COVID-19. Although not many people are out, the stray dogs are still around. These two like to greet boaters at the dinghy dock. And when the businesses were open, it was not uncommon for the business owners to let stray dogs inside to catch a nap on the furniture. The French really do love dogs. This used to be a bustling street with many French boutiques and coffee shops, but currently they're all closed. It's almost as if it's a Sunday, except it's like this every day. The line outside Super U was long, but luckily it moved quickly. A guard at the door limited how many people were allowed inside at a time, and inside, another guard kept people from congregating in the checkout lines. About half the people inside were wearing masks. It's not required, but strongly encouraged. One of the reasons we love the French island is that their grocery stores are always well stocked. This day, however, we're out of eggs and flour and yogurt, and the produce with area was practically empty. We luckily were able to find the necessities at a Chinese market afterwards. We walked home along the empty streets with a very full cart. Well, the streets weren't completely empty, like this group of sheep waiting outside the local bank. Hey guys, break it up over there, no congregating. Okay, so now we are back at home and we're ready to put away all of our groceries. So I wipe everything down with a bleach and then I put it on the counter and then uh, when we're all done then we put it away in our fridge. The whole thing took about three hours for us to do the grocery shopping and then about an hour for me to put everything away. Then we had some lunch, I took a nap, I took a shower and now I feel much better. Hoping all of you are safe and happy at home. Take care.